Okay, after some uh, thorough investigation, I figured out I had my commands typed in wrong. Um, that happens when you type with one hand. So um, I'm going to up back to sudo apt dash get update uh, space ampersand ampersand sudo apt da uh, apt dash get upgrade. I'm gonna hit enter here. It's working. It's uh, checking for updates from the repositories, which probably won't be the quickest process. Um, it's hitting uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash mirrordirect.raspberryan.org. Uh, Wheezy RPI translation English Great Britain because that's language that's set by default since this uh, device comes out of the UK. Um, it's ignoring quite a few of the mirrors. Uh, when I tested this beforehand, I let it sit for about five minutes before I actually killed the update process. Um, but it looks like it's uh, finishing fine now. Um, it's amazing that these uh, repositories change over a couple days. Um, so right now it's reading the uh, new package list. It's at about 40, 51%. 75. It's at 99%. All right, it's done. It's uh, building the dependency tree, reading state information, and it's prompting me that there are 11 upgrades. Um, uh, zero newly installed, zero to remove, and zero not upgraded. 9.79 kilobits worth of information. So I'm going to say yes. And it's probably kill. well, I don't know if it's kilobytes or kilobits. I think it's kilobits, actually. Um, so now it's hitting the repositories that have the proper updates. We're getting a bash update, um, uh, some files, a couple of libraries, a um, uh, new Python update, idle 3 update, more Python. Um, and we've got my cat down here who is uh, meowing at me for some reason. Hi, Neo. Um, back to uh, Raspberry Pi. All right, it's uh, asking me to make some bash changes. I'm going to uh, leave the default. Um, we actually notice as it's doing the upgrade, um, the uh, CPU usage is definitely spiking on here. Uh, like I said earlier, it's got a 700 megahertz processor and 256 megabytes of RAM. Um, that rivals a lot of uh, Windows XP machines, circa 2002, 2003-ish. Um, hey, maybe older than that. Uh, I think my family had a uh, Windows ME computer with uh, 128 megabytes of RAM and an 800 megahertz processor and that was in year 2000 that was purchased brand new um, we're still waiting Yep, I know this isn't the most exciting thing in the world, so sorry. Uh, let's look at some of the applications on the Raspberry Pi. If we go to our accessories, we've got the uh, Debian reference, a file manager, probably similar to Natalis, um, an image manager, a leaf pad, which is a text editor, um, X terminal, which is a terminal, um, a root terminal. Um, and X Archiver, which is a GK2 plus a GK I can't talk G2K plus two 
Archive Manager. Under Education, we've got Scratch and Squeak. Internet, we have Dillo. Midori, Midori Private Browsing. NetSurf Web Browser. Under Programming, we have IDLE, IDLE 3, Scratch and Squeak. And we've got a Task Manager under System Tools. Under Preferences, we can customize the look and feel. We've got our Desktop Session Settings. Mouse and keyboard setup, um, in case you know, you're know you not in the United States and you buy one of these. We have monitor settings, open box configuration manager, and preferred applications. So now that the uh, Raspberry Pi is done updating, I have um, a terminal back. I'm going to close out of this, um, do a shutdown, and you guys should definitely think about purchasing one of these devices it's pretty cool or if you can wait a little while um, uh, and save a little bit more money there's another one called the Gooseberry coming out that should have a 1.5 gigahertz processor and quite a bit more system RAM I think it has at least 512 megabytes um, well anyways have a nice day guys bye